Hey Rin. everyone! What? Oh. We're in. Again. Hey with everyone! The, with the thing. Yes. Hey everyone! Welcome back to Overwrite. <laughs> <laughs> the show where we think games and read poems, and I'm Kuma. And I'm Sai. And Natsuki time. Do you, do you, will you need me to read Natsuki yes. so we can have, like, a yeah. so, so I don't fuck up all the voices again. Finally. Huh? This one. It's, it, no, wait, that's not the Patrick voice. <clears throat> this one. It's good. That's the Patrick voice. <laughs> I haven't been doing it for so long, I forgot <laughs> what I did. I was wondering how long it would take you. See, that's perfect. All right. Yeah, seriously. Seriously. Don't listen to what anyone else says. Especially Yuri. <laughs> Funny how the like the two of them are just always... keep writing poems like this. <laughs> Funny how the two of them are always picking a fight with each other, Literally. even like when they're not together. Are you sure that's not just what you want? Excuse me. I'm talking to pro, you know. <laughs> All right. Pros, you know, short for professional. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You should trust me more. I guess that depends. Aren't you biased towards poems that are more uh, simple and cute? Biased? Yes. Of course not. Of course, yes. My opinion just happens to be the best. Okay. There's one thing I still can't tell. Is she actually self-aware of her spoiled behavior? <laughs> I thought it was going to be like, there's one thing I can't tell. What's wrong with a tooth? She, she she has like yeah like like little this? like yeah like little canines. Isn't that like a trope? Yeah, it might be like a little like a anime girl trope. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, you're glad she likes you. <laughs> now you finally understand. Just keep showing me your poems, and you'll be a pro before you know it. Right. Showing me your poems. Anyway, here's the one I wrote. I'll be your beach. Your mind is so full of troubles and fears that diminish your wonder over the years. But today I have a special place, a beach for us to go. A shore reaching beyond your sight, a sea that sparkles with brilliant light. The walls in your mind will melt away before the sunny glow. I'll be the beach that washes your worries away. I'll be the beach that you daydream about each day. I'll be the beach that makes your heart leap in a way you thought had left you long ago. I feel like there should be like yeah. backing music to this. Wait, yeah. wait, 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 you, you skipped the part. No, 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 I didn't. See, it's like, it's, it's... Oh, let's no. bury your heavy thoughts in a pile of sand. Bathe in sunbeams and hold my hand. Watch your insecurities in the salty sea and let me see you shine. Let's leave your memories in a footprint trail. Set you free in my windy sail. And remember the reasons you were wonderful when you pressed your lips to mine. I really feel like there should be like a guitar solo here. Yeah. I'll be the beach that washes your worries away. I'll be the beach that you daydream about each day. I'll be the beach that makes your heart leap in a way you thought had left you long ago. Yo, wait, this is a straight up song. Yes, isn't it? That's, that's like a chorus. But if you let me by your side, your own beach, your own escape, you'll learn to love yourself again. This is, this is a song, man. Cute. This was a bridge, by the way. This is exactly, this is a song. Because you got like two... Oh. Verses? What's the word in English? Verses? Yeah, yeah. Like, like, you got like, a chorus, chorus and two verses, then chorus, then a bridge, and then, then, and then fade guitar out. solo, and fade out. Yeah. This is straight up uh, a you, song. Oh, you thought she was kidding with Van Halen <laughs> a couple of episodes ago? <laughs> yeah. I feel like I kept writing about negative things, so I wanted to write something with a nice message for once. Besides, the beach is awesome! Yeah, I can agree with that. Kind of hard to write about negative about beach. So you decided to write about the beach first, then came up with the message? Yeah, well, it's only because of what happened yesterday. What happened yesterday? I played a song, goddammit! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, after Yuri and I realized we kind of wrote about the same thing. It's gonna be hilarious if Yuri actually wrote about the beach as well. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to pick a topic and have us both write about it or whatever. Ugh, I can really see her doing that too. He was worried about a simple topic when trying to impress me by coming up with something all fancy. It's not like I care. Just did it anyway. I mean, I guess mine ended up being kind of metaphorical too. <laughs> Metaphors. There's nothing <laughs> wrong with doing that once in a while. I mean, I'm pro after all. Or at least it was a good practice. 
Good batting practice, I mean. Right. Um, so, let's read uh, beach poem number two. Yes. Let's read beach poem number two. Ah! Ah! Finally decided to show up, eh? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> decided to try something different today. I guess. Is it good or bad? Well, neither. But mostly bad. I have my preferences. <laughs> Tilting towards the bad side. Basically. But it would be unfair of me to call something good or bad based on that because I'm trying to hit on you, you see. As always, I believe what's most important is exploring and discovering yourself. When it's about you. If it's that's... somebody else, will tell them that sucks. Yeah, yeah, that's comforting. Um, kind of afraid of disappointing you in some way or another. Eh? Why me? Well, you're so sophisticated with your writing. Have the most advice to share. She does. Is that so? Her videos always end up being <laughs> the, the longest, longest ones. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, she's thinking for a good minute. Should we let that minute run? <laughs> no. <laughs> huh? For me to have to become someone whose opinion is fearsome. That's not what girlfriends do, right? No, yeah, no, no. How unlikable of me! Yuri, it's it's not as bad as you're making it sound in your head. I just meant that I respect your opinion. I see. Respect is a good thing that you do with your friends who you share chocolate with, right? Yes. I'm sorry that I always overthink and come to these sorts of conclusions. I'm really trying to pick the right flags to go your route, you see. Overthinking. How about Being overwriting? Disliked. Like, comment, and subscribe and hit that bell. <laughs> What, what am I saying? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to bring that up. But I want you to like me, so let's move on. Alright. Do you want to share your poem now so we'll both shut up with the awkwardness? Okay. Here. <coughs> Beach. <laughs> Try not putting any other words near it. I Yo, mean, I was only kidding. Anyway, uh, listen, listen, it's good. A marvel millions of years in the making, where the womb of Earth chaotically meets the surface. Under a clear blue sky, an expanse of bliss, but beneath gray rolling clouds, an endless enigma. The easiest world to get lost in is one where everything can be found. One can only build a sand castle where the sand is wet. Seriously, but where the sand is wet, <laughs> what? the tide comes. Will it gently lick at your foundations until you give in? Or will a sudden wave send you crashing down in the blink of an eye? Either way, the outcome is the same. Yeah, we still build sand castles. Stand where the foam wraps around my ankles. Where my toes squish into the sand. The salty air is therapeutic. The breeze is gentle and powerful. I sink my toes into the ultimate boundary line. Tempted by the foamy tendrils. Turn back and I abandon my, ba my, my peace. <laughs> I'm having trouble reading my writing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I abandon my piece to a road at the shore. It's tiny, man. Drift forward, and I return to Earth forevermore. Yo, I was only kidding with the beach thing. Mine was so much better, wasn't it? Um, I'm aware that the beach is kind of an inane thing to write about. That's why I had to work extra hard to make it interesting. But I did my best to take a metaphorical approach to it. Yeah, Natsuki already told me. About oh, 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 I think, I thought they meant yesterday. No. So they both, they, when they read each other's beach. poems. Yeah, they yeah, both, yeah. they both picked beat. This was on purpose. Yes. Okay, so it's not, it's not as funny as I thought it she was. She did? She didn't say anything weird, did she? Just wanted us to write about the same topic again. Supposed to better compare the differences in our writing styles or thought processes or something. Anyway, it was her idea. Knowing her, it's no surprise that she wants to do something like that. She probably just wants to show off. It's not like I have a particular interest in her writing style. Just went with a request or whatever. But, 
Excuse me. Well, I suppose it's not so bad to write about something simple on occasion. Can be refreshing, you know. It's good for me to calm my thoughts once in a while. Yeah, I, I think I agree. Thanks for sharing. <laughs> sharing too much? <laughs> we're gonna do Monica. But we're gonna do Monica in the next one. Yeah, because this was the beach episode. Yeah, yeah it was 100% the beach episode. <laughs> See you guys then. Now I made a fool of myself in the beach episode. <laughs>